You have to remind me what you got, Amir. Uh, that spicy sausage and spinach. Spicy so sausage and spinach. Oh, and gouda. And gouda. That's, I know what that is. That's the pork belly omelet. Yep. Well, Benedict. No, no. Omelet, yeah. I think you can get it as an omelet, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it looks prettier as a Benedict. And you have spinach. Grecian omelet. It's spinach, tomato, and um, <coughs> feta, and then there's tzatziki. Mm. Mine's a bit more of a classic breakfast. It looks like I went to Denny's. And brought, yeah, I ordered. It looks way better. <laughs> well, yeah, Look at I those know. Pancakes. It's just it the style pancakes. of food. It looks so tiny in the picture. <laughs> it's so different though because most restaurants they make the food items like huge and then they bring out like a little. Yeah, here you get uh, you get what you pay for. Uh, they're splitting it. What kind of omelet is that? Uh, or not, uh, I keep uh, saying uh, omelet for everything. Yeah, it's, it's a cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll waffle. waffle. We, we, we both wanted it though, but we didn't want to just uh, okay. eat that for breakfast. Yeah, so. I've I've had that before, <laughs> and it's um it's incredible. It looks incredible. Big jump in time. Um, lunch was great. We ate at Johnny D's. Uh, fantastic. We've actually been cooking ribs today. They've been in the slow cooker all day, and they are actually, they're basically ready. They gotta go in the oven for like five minutes. But otherwise, we're pretty close. What we have been doing today is playing D&D. Now, we didn't record this one. I'll go ahead and let people down very quickly, but I'm sure there's a lot of great stories to tell. We're not quite done yet, but to give you an idea of how off the rails this truly went, <laughs> We are now in the final boss's main headquarters, and instead of a fight, there is a wedding taking place. <laughs> this all thanks to a few of Mallory's very good roles, where she actually managed to charm a, a goblin, and then convince the goblin leader with a nat 20 that they truly were going to get married. And we're in love. And we're in love. So now, instead of a we massive- are in love. Are you saying something about Gary? Yeah, yeah. Well, well she, she's not deceiving him because her, one of her character traits is that she falls she in fall love easily. My God. So this, uh, this instead of a battle, is a wedding. <laughs> Just so happens that the, uh, the big bugbear queen knows how to get people married and is taking care of this right here with all of the minions around. I hope you know what you've done. <laughs> so it's about an hour later. Um, food is just getting served. These are... Uh, Real tender looking. They're like falling off the bone. They are now. falling off the bone. That's exciting. So we have uh, we have both beef and pork, which is I bought several. well, it's fine. And also, the D and D adventures come to an end. Wedding murders. Ah, oh, wedding murders. Everyone loves a good wedding murder. Um, good good it, red wedding. It went. It went. It went okay. Um, yeah, there was uh, there was there were some things that definitely happened there. Um, I would say Massey probably saved the day there at the end. Must saved the day. Must saved the day. I, I tried to disguise myself as somebody who had a, uh, a there was javelin. A, yeah, javelin through their side. It was well, weird. the quick explanation of what happened there at the end: there was a wedding, and everyone was all excited. And then a guy that they had stabbed much earlier in the campaign and got away showed up at the wedding. and was like, um, "Why are we celebrating these people? They stabbed me." And they were like, oh, that's bad. I, I, I disguised myself as that person. While he was in the room. Yeah. And then tried to explain to them that the other guy was an imposter. And they, it was almost working, except Masay's character flaw was that she doesn't know when to shut up. And because that guy had wandered in with a javelin still in him, she was like, that's my javelin! I love that javelin. I need that back because that's mine. Remember when I threw it and stabbed you? I need that back, which which ruined everything. And everyone's like, "Oh, okay, so yeah, that's they're actually bad." But uh, hey, you survived. You killed basically everybody, and now we get to celebrate with a delicious rib cage. Wedding meal. Wedding meal. Wedding it's a wedding meal. <laughs> We're celebrating. This is the, this is the leg of the guy. <laughs> Mal, I, I wish I wish you and Gary the best. Thank um, I can't wait to see what the kids look like. <laughs> so Dan just left, um, and actually Lindsay was here earlier. We didn't, I don't think we got her on, on camera, but, uh, her character died, which was appropriate, because she had to leave early, so, um, that wasn't planned, that just kind of happened. That'll happen if you fight a giant constrictor snake in D&D. &D. Um, but now our dinner's over, we're gonna go to bed early tonight, because, uh, breakfast stream's in the morning, which is exciting. And you guys, it's weird, you've, you've already been on breakfast stream before. Yeah. So you get to do I, it again. Uh, yeah. I, I had buffalo wild wings last time I was on it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Real breakfast food this time. Oh, that's good. 
Um, also, we're doing it on time because last time I think we pushed it forward an hour. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Was 10. But it's like it's not even one o'clock right now, so things are good. We'll be able to do it at night. That's not too early, right? <laughs> you will never get her to say that any AM time is reasonable. Yeah, you know what? Maybe maybe not answer that. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. It's too early. And as always. <sighs> oh, so it's my line now? Ha ha ha!